Why is weight not so important? And why do you keep hearing that all the time? Well, I'm gonna break that down for you right here. I'm gonna explain it very thoroughly and do the math for you because that is where the answers are. All right, so muscle burns calories. That right there is the three words that you need to know. Muscle burns calories. So if you increase your muscle, you increase the calorie burning that your body goes through. It increases your metabolism, in other words. And so here we are. I wanna show you a little uh, drawing that I made here. Let's say you've got person A who maybe has a little more around the midsection, uh, maybe a little softer. This person is going to be, let's say for the sake of this uh, video, 40% body fat. They weigh 200 pounds. All right, 40% body fat, 200 pounds. Now let's say person B, the same exact weight, still 200 pounds, but only 15% body fat. So 200 pounds, 15% body fat. That means the rest of this stuff up here, the 85%, and in this person's case, the 60%, what is that if it's not body fat? Well, that is lean body mass, which is made up of skeleton and muscle, maybe some organs, of course, as well. But here we are. I wanna show you the math behind all this. So let's say this person who's 200 pounds, same as this person, they're 40% body fat, that means their fat mass is 80 pounds of body fat. This is not a healthy body fat uh, number. We wanna make sure that this gets lower. But what's left over? All right, lean body mass of 120 pounds. Let's just say, and I'm gonna use a ballpark number here, 80 pounds for a skeleton. Let's say your skeleton's 80 pounds and organs, all right? So what's left over? For the sake of doing even math here in the numbers, we've got 40 pounds left over of, we'll call it muscle. Is that true or not? Everyone's a little bit different, but let's just bear with me. So 40 pounds, burning roughly 50 calories per pound of muscle, because it's been scientifically proven that you're burning somewhere between 20 and 50 calories uh, per pound of muscle, depending on your physical activity level. But I don't wanna shortchange this guy, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna say, all right, we're gonna go with 50 calories per pound of muscle, and you've got 40 uh, pounds of muscle, so let's say you're burning 2,000 calories per day. And that's not unrealistic, okay? So that is our calorie burning for person A. Person B, 15% body fat, they weigh the same, but their fat mass is only 30 pounds. That means they're 50 pounds less body fat, even though they weigh the same. 50 pounds less body fat. All right, so 30 pounds of fat mass, mine, that means what's left over, lean body mass is 170. So let's take away that same 80 pound skeleton, whether that's true or not, I'm, not sure it's close enough anyways. Uh, so what's left over? 90 pounds, we'll call it 90 pounds of muscle, times your 50 pounds, which on this person is gonna be more accurate, 50, uh, sorry, calories per pound of muscle equals 4,500 calories this person is burning. All right, let's do the math further. Let's say you burn 4,500 calories if your person B per day, and let's say the other person is only burning 2,000 calories. You have a surplus of 2,500 calories to play with. Don't you think you could eat a whole lot of food for 2,500 calories since you've got that extra calorie uh, allotment? Or even better, what if you ate the same amount, but you burned an extra 2,500 calories? Don't you think you would lose fat quickly? Yes. <laughs> so, the math just goes to show it's not about the number on the scale. The weight does not matter. What matters is the, the lean muscle mass. It's that muscle number that's circled right here in purple. That's the number that matters. So we want to increase muscle mass and decrease body fat. Now, of course, if you don't want to be a big bodybuilder, that is perfectly fine. You don't have to go that far. Maybe you weigh 180 and this is at uh, 70. You're still burning a load of calories. So you might wonder why in the, in the world and how do those bodybuilders get to eat so much food? This is how. So I want you to be able to eat a lot of food as well. I want you to have that lean ripped physique that you're looking for and be able to enjoy life full of energy. This is how we do it. Take those numbers right here, down. So let's see how we're uh, body fat percentages and how we're fitting into our clothes and our measurements. Those are the things that are gonna tell you uh, your overall health and the progress that you're making less than the scale. All right, I hope that was helpful. Catch you later.